Tinder's VIP version of its app, Google acquires Kaggle, and Udacity launches a robotics nano degree. It's Wednesday, March 8th, and this is Crunch Report. How you doing? Happy International Women's Day, everyone. Let's get into the news. You know when you're using a dating app and it's just filled with a bunch of uggos? And you wish there was a version of the same app with more exclusivity and hotter people so you feel better about yourself being part of a select group? Well, Tinder has got you covered, homie. Don't fret. Tinder has been operating a members-only version of the platform called Tinder Select, which is meant to serve only the elite users on the app, including CEOs, supermodels, and other hyper-attractive types. It appears that Tinder has invited people to the platform, some of whom have the ability to nominate others, but those who were nominated can't nominate anyone else, which prevents the members-only layer of the app from spreading uncontrollably. And thank God for that, you gotta control the scum. Tinder Select has been around for almost six months, at least, and Tinder may not have immediate plans to announce the service at all. No comment from Tinder. Google is acquiring Kaggle, a platform that hosts data science and machine learning competitions. Details about the transaction remained somewhat vague yesterday. When reached by phone, Kaggle co-founder CEO Anthony Goldblum declined to deny that the acquisition was happening. Google itself declined to comment on rumors, but now it's confirmed. Gotcha! The company made its announcement at its Google Cloud Next conference this morning in San Francisco while not disclosing the terms of the acquisition. With Kaggle, Google is buying one of the largest and most active communities for data scientists. And with that, it'll get increased mindshare in this community too, though it already has plenty of that thanks to TensorFlow and other projects. According to Crunchbase, to date, Kaggle has raised $12.5 million. Woo, it seems like everyone is trying to make schools cool this week. First Sam Altman with startup school, and now Udacity with a nano degree focused on robotics. Unfortunately, I've been told by the startup that it doesn't plan to teach students how to do the robot, only make them, which I don't know about you, but I see no better way to combine STEM with the humanities than that. But I digress. The online education company announced 21 new hiring partners, bringing the total to over 50 places where you could get hired with a Udacity Nano degree. And beyond just robotics, you can also study digital marketing, deep learning, and even build a self-driving car as part of other nano degrees. The last one, which Udacity has been running for a few months, is set to become part of a new competition sponsored by the startup and Didi Chuxing to build safety features for autonomous cars. The competition, beginning on March 22nd, will give $100,000 to the engineer that builds the best solution. That's the report for today. I'm Tito Hamzy. Crunch Report is every weekday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Pacific on techcrunch.com. You can also find us on iTunes and on YouTube and on Twitter. You can, you can watch there. Guys, we'll see you tomorrow.